Hey guys, really quick before my video begins, I'd just like to encourage you to open the description and check out all my socials below, as well as to subscribe to my YouTube and enjoy the video. Now I've had my run with guitars, I've played Lucy and I've played Asuri, and I feel like I've even dabbled with Ragnar, at least a little bit in tournament. However, I've never touched Sentinel, and I don't think many people do. And it's kind of strange because he's literally the best guitar character that nobody's ever really playing. Now, I don't really know what the issue is. I don't know if people just haven't been feeling guitars lately. I mean, that is part of it. But even before then, when guitars were at their very peak, no one was still really playing him. And I don't know if maybe people don't like playing Hammer, but you can't ignore the fact that Sentinel is possibly the best guitar character right now. I mean, he has such useful SIGs, to say the least. Like, not only are the SIGs good, they're actually applicable. You can have a SIG be kind of like good and like it's frame data and stuff but still just not be like super overpowered and to me i guess like a sig like that would be uh lin phase canon n sig like that sig itself yeah it's good but at the very end of the day i mean it, more than anything it's good to use it as like bait but sentinel sigs i mean you have d sig monster of a sig you have n sig hits way more and way more places than people expect you have side sig which looks slow but i mean the force trade-off is ridiculous and one thing that's really nice about sentinel is like with the d sig for example on guitars you can play in a way where okay so say i mean i mean i have a loop but oh, say i got that say i get like this i can use d sig as a way of like trying to get the next read because if that hits i mean you know it's only dam that's only more damage like you're only coming out positive in that exchange and uh that's what's really nice about sentinel i mean another one I didn't do it, but this, that's another common thing on Sentinel. Like, basically everything off D-Light is pretty popular. N-Light into N-Sig, I think, also. I mean, I'm no Sentinel player. I'm just giving, like, scenarios that I think would end up working. And then we get to Hammer. I mean, the worst Sig has to be D-Sig on this kit. I think that's kind of known. I, I mean, I call that thing the Shuffleboard. But it's one of those Sigs, like, even though it is not necessarily the best, it's still, still got its uses, you know? It's still nothing... Uh, shy of like being really really solid one though that is pretty unapologetically good i would have to say has to be n sig and side sig as well i mean both like side sig has so much travel time n sig is relatively quick and keep in mind sentinel is one of those characters you can have him go down to three decks if you want now i have heard though wrenched he says that like there's something you can do on guitars with the deck so i'm currently playing with the deck stance However, I'm pretty sure you'd be fine if you took minus dex. Now on Brawlmance, I checked and Sentinel has less than a percent play rate. However, and there's the application of uh, Nlight into Nsig, by the way. Just want to point that out. And however, his win rate though is above 50%. So he's making, the people who are playing him are making use of him. They're, they're managing to win more games collectively than they lose. And by collectively, I mean like everyone who's playing him. So that should, you know, just tell you kind of where this character's at. It's kind of like Volkov for Scythe players. Like no one's really looking at Volkov much. Like Volkov has such a low play rate, but he's fantastic to say the least. I mean, Volkov, you know, I made a video on him recently. Like he's literally a character I'm probably going to be pushing to play at the very least in twos. I can caught that guy. I don't know when he's going to mix his dodge or, you know, if it will happen, but I'll do it again. You know what? We're actually going to go for it again when it comes time to kill. Let's play some hammer, though. Yeah, it's weird. The people I see mainly playing Sentinel are those character loyalists. And, like, if you play Sentinel, like, you play Sentinel. Like, you've been a Sentinel main for a long time, if that's the case. I can't think off the top of my head anyone else who's really like that. I mean, Orion players probably are the next in line. I would say it have to be, like, Orion players, Sentinel players, Bryn players, Hattori players. Oh, my gosh. Don't even get me started on Hattori players. Do people who... People who are maining Hattori, I mean, I don't know. Hattori is a cool legend, but like to only play like eight speed, spear, and sword, you guys are built different, to say the least. All right, let's see. End light into Entic. I think it kills. It actually killed. I think another really good thing about Sentinel is the fact that he has such good contrast between his weapons. Katars for that damage build. And then after, he has Hammer to help with kills. Not like he even needs it, because Katars with the SIGs alone can close it out. But you do have a weapon like Hammer to rely on, to, you know, use Stomp. I mean, Hammer right now, in contention to be the best weapon, if not the best weapon. Um, I don't know. I Maybe I'll make a tier list sometime of current weapons. But I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a patch right now. So I don't really want to go saying, oh yeah, this is for sure the best weapon when 
I don't know if by next week things are going to be changed. If that's the case, then, I mean, I'm sure Hammer will still be really good and still good enough. And, like, Sentinel, his position won't change. Like, there's no way Sentinel Sigs are getting touched. And, obviously, the stat spread of him is super, super solid. But, yeah, I mean, I mainly see this guy being, like, a jack-of-all-trades. You can use him in ones, but you could also get away with using him in twos. I think 2v2's Hammer is so good. However, Katars can be a little lackluster. I think what makes up for it, though, again, are just the crazy SIGs. Like, the amount of area that the SIGs cover in twos would be really, really good. And also, the fact that he does have stats that are, like, freakishly good compared to a lot of other Katar legends. I mean, what, what are Sentinel stats? Like, with minus dex... Okay, let's think. With minus dex, he's, like... I don't even know. He's, like, what, six? He's, like, five, four, then seven eight that, that that is definitely not right but if I, i'm just saying numbers guys i don't know what i'm talking about i worked on homework till literally how, what time was it i worked from 7 30 p.m to 2 a.m on homework because you know it kind of be like that sometimes i i was gonna say something but i'd rather not say it because it wasn't the nicest thing but my professors literally like tacked on more home homework uh this like like second time we met during the week and that ended up kind of pushing it overboard it doesn't help that for me like chemistry also is just not a fun subject so i had to work on that for like four hours and chemistry i mean phew, chemistry online is no fun at all it's probably easier than taking it in person but she's i cannot tolerate that class at all i took it in high school and to say the least was not fun i mean i still got a decent grade but it's like when you don't enjoy something but you're forced to take it because of like a degree or whatever right Whenever you have to do something you don't want to do, it's terrible, to say the least. Okay, this Hattori player, he's getting annoying. This is what I'm talking about, Hattori. Man. This guy definitely has been maining Hattori since at least 2018. I mean, he, he's playing like he's doing all these, little, all these little spear intricacies, the spear weapon throws, not afraid to get up close and personal with unarmed. I mean, what else do you want from a Hattori main? And what else do you want from me? I, just, I can't believe I messed that up. That was actually free for me to finish it off there. Oh, no. I, this guy's thrown his spear more times than I've thrown tournament games. Okay, Nair. Where's he gonna go? I want him to land with me. I despise him. I That was my end sig. He took it from me. I like how he whiffs end light, instant delight. That's not sword, buddy. Not sword. Definitely a seasoned sword player, given he did that. Come on. Spear Sarah. Alright. Little weapon throw. I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose. Oh yeah, before I like get back to talking about Sentinel, another cool little thing is that I think I had another video, like I, I only have a handful of videos that are over 100,000 views. And I think like yesterday, I believe, my Artemis one, like the fastest Scythe and Brawlhalla or something, it ended up hitting over 100,000 views as well, which makes sense. I mean, I guess Artemis is favored in the YouTube algorithm. And I mean, Scythe, everyone loves seeing Scythe. Who doesn't like seeing Scythe, especially when it's played very very well I'm not saying i played it well i'm just saying the people enjoy a little scythe now and then what can i say oh yeah but that makes me think my most popular video is over an axe character to be fair it's finn but i have no idea how that video reached such popularity i know in like the first game i did a guy absolutely dirty on axe and i'm guessing that had to play in part of it that i just absolutely de demo man this guy so hard it was disgusting if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you check it out but granted i only have like what thirty-five thousand subs recently just hit and thank you all but i only have like thirty-five thousand subs and that video has like almost two hundred thousand views so you do the math i mean most of my audience probably has seen that video i wonder if i'm known as the glass cannon guy or something like how did you guys find my channel that makes me wonder did you guys find me because we're just bored and like you just found like oh hey phase has a channel did you find me through twitch and then you found my youtube what exactly like was what gave me away i mean tournaments are obviously probably going to be a popular one um but yeah there's still a lot of you that don't watch too many tournaments but you still see the content so i'm just curious okay this guy after that loss to that hattori man i'm feeling a little down i'm tired man i'm worn out can't believe i stayed up that late and i'm gonna be gone this weekend as well so uh, if you guys were expecting a couple videos this weekend, don't. <laughs> I mean, I'll have one, like, done Sunday, like, so it can come out on Monday. I'll do it Sunday so it can come out on Monday. That's a little deceiving how I said it. But, yeah, I'll be ready back in action Monday. I'm going out to see some friends. Um, 
that are a couple hours away. So it should be a lot of fun, but you know, I will be safe. I will return to you guys in one piece. No worries about that. Let's get one more game in. Let's see, what can we do against this guy? What's this guy about? Scythe into guitars. I think this is actually, it can be a decent matchup for Scythe if you're like doing really, really well with Scythe. Now, obviously, if you're not playing well, given Scythe is pretty hard, uh, for the most part, or hard, one of the harder weapons compared to like Katars, I feel like you can get taken advantage of even if the matchup seems to be like in your favor. So let's see. Let's just see what I can do. Maybe a little less talking, but I'm going to be mopping this guy up a lot quicker. I've been working on my hammer a little bit. Let's see. What do I got? Oh, little three. He's not dodging that. Hit that. Put him up. What is he going to do? Spike ball? Uh, I'm not a I'm not a gadget guy at all. If you play gadgets in with rank still, you're a beast. That's for sure. And right there, side sig. He really couldn't punish it. I mean, it covered so much. He was forced to move. Dip down. Oh, you forgot about my hammer recovery. That spikes for no reason. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay, I've been only playing hammer. Let's show it because it is going to be called the best guitar legend. What? The best guitar legend you've never played or something like that. I think that's a good video title. I think that's solid. Maybe I'll change it if the video doesn't perform up to the standards I've set for myself, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I've gotten better at like my, the title naming game and my guitars. Ooh, got a little better at those two. Nice little three stock, easy. All right, so lastly, the final thing I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm using deck stance and I don't know if this is the best. Again, I'm no Sentinel player by any means. So if you Sentinel experts are in the comments below, let me know. I mean, I think you can use, you can use just about any stance on Sentinel, whatever you fancy, really. I mean, eight defense is there. Base stance is fine. You could use decks if you think that helps on Katars. I, I hear it does. Strength, this is what would, I guess, be considered to be optimal nowadays. I don't really know if it is in this case, though. Speed, if you want to be a little quicker. So, yeah, bunch of choices for Sentinel. Great legend. I think if you play Katars, you're missing out right now. Get the value of him while you can before they nerf him. I mean, which won't be for a very long time. So you're chilling. Thanks for watching the video though, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.